Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zate Gardens. I'm in Central California, Zone 9B. And uh, this year was pretty bad, much like, unfortunately, most years in California for the summer, the, the fires, um, where there was many days you couldn't go outside at all. I would have to wear a hospital mask or dust mask just to do some gardening, or you can only last 10 to 30 minutes depending on the air where your eyes will start burning and anything like that. Uh, this is throughout the state, not just Central California. It's northern, southern, uh, and then it was really hot as well. I'm just showing you my air filter. I changed this. Uh, I pulled this out of the um, my air conditioning system, the, the vent, on the 10th. So it's a little bit later now. Today I think is the 16th or the 17th. Um, this filter was only played. This is a three-month filter. This filter was only in the the house used for one month, and it started out this color as co this color of the paper. Look at the difference in how bad the air quality is. N normally, the filter would look like this at the two and a half, three-month mark. Um, it's just been really bad, and I'll show you guys with a little picture right now of how bad the the air has been this past month. This has been really bad. So what I, I started doing is, uh, I'm a family man, and uh, I love gardening, and uh, as you all can see, it, this is just a fraction of my garden. There's some moringas over here, some peaches, nectarines, figs, so forth. Um, I need to... I focus on my garden and on the outside, but I didn't do much for inside. I just had a coffee plant and one little snake plant. And, all, and if the air is this bad, I wondered how bad it would be inside. And I'm going to show you that right now. So here's my coffee plant that I have been growing for quite some time. Um, I Today, every month I wipe down the leaves and clean them off with a little bit of soap and water. I did it, and I, I usually get not that much off. I did it this time around, and here's a clean side of the napkin, as you can see. And here's the dirty side, as you can tell. I've never had this much filth, dust, pollen, smoke come off of this one plant. Now it's nice and shiny as you can see right here, beautiful. Um, but after I saw this, I knew I had to do something for the inside of our house, of our house more. So I brought in the wasabi plant, which is growing back from the heat, my bay leaf tree, and here's my doggy, Lulu. Sorry for the TV, my son doesn't want to turn it off. Say you hi, Sean. You mean my puppy. Oh, okay, you, my son's puppy. And here's my Okinawa spinach, my great big Okinawa spinach. Here's so this is an edible house plant. Um, it could be grown outside, but it can be grown inside as well. It's doing really well. And every day, multiple times a day, I blow onto the tree to give it some CO2. And of course, I have my snake plant. There's one big snake plant in the middle, and then five cuttings I made. It is stated that this plant, the snake plant, produces oxygen at night. That's why they call it the bedroom plant or the mother-in-law's tongue because it's really sharp at the tip. So I'm gonna try everything I can to combat this pollution issue here in California. And I bought the most expensive filtret filter I can get. Uh, 2500 is the number. Uh, it was $30. So I usually put a 1900 series. I put 2500 series. So I'm ready to combat this because it's really affecting our sleep and everything. Um, and I only hope that it's gonna get better, not worse, because it was really bad this year. All right, everybody. Happy indoor gardening. Bye.